Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make peas roti, which is similar to our dal roti. But there is a little bit different to the recipe, so I'm going to show you today how it's made. This is my roti dough. Panesh will link this roti dough to you. Yeah, I'm using two cups of frozen peas that I just rinsed out and a quarter cup of oil, one small onion to fry, three cloves of garlic of which I'm going to crush, one teaspoon of dania seed, one teaspoon of mustard seed and one teaspoon of jeera. For taste, I'm going to use a teaspoon of fine salt. For the spice, I'm going to use a teaspoon of mixed masala and half a teaspoon of hardi. I am going to braise my peas and at the end to absorb some of the moisture, I'm going to put in a tablespoon of gram flour and a tablespoon of desiccated coconut. Then to garnish, I finely chopped some dania, finely chopped spring onions, and I finely chopped three green chilies. But if you like yours a little more spicy, you can add on more green chilies. Now I am going to braise the peas for the filling. I've caught my stove on moderate heat, and I'm using a non-stick frying pan. To my pan, I'm just going to add in this quarter cup of oil. Now my oil has heated up, so I'm just going to add in my onions to it. I'll allow this onions to get soft. While my onions is getting prepared, I've got another pan on moderate heat just to roast up my whole spice. When this roast up, I'm gonna give it a grind. My spices are roasted. I'm just gonna give it a quick grind. To my onions, I'm gonna add in my green chilies. And while this is going to cook out, I'm gonna add my garlic into my ground spice and just grind this and to this I'm also going to add in my peas and give it a quick crush. You can also put this into a machine but I don't want it too mushy so I just use my pestle and mortar. This is my ground peas. As you can see, it's not too mushy. So I'm just going to add it into my oil. To this, I'm also going to add in my salt. And allow this about five minutes to cook. Five minutes has passed and I'm just going to put in my spices. I'll mix this and give it another two minutes. Two minutes has passed. I'm going to add in my gram flour, also my desiccated coconut. Give this a good mix. I'll switch my stove off. When it's cooled down, then I'm going to garnish with my dania. Now that my peacefulling is cooled down completely, I'm going to just garnish with my dania and my spring onions. And 
and give this a good mix. Now I am ready to make my rotis and my tawa is already on moderate heat and here I have a mixture of oil and margarine which I melted. This is to use to toast the roti. If you prefer you can use ghee. I'm going to make this into two small balls. This is similar to when you're making dal roti. So in the center, I prefer using my hand, I'm more comfortable. So you just take a little with your hand, place it to the center, and just curl this up. Then you seal it. Into your flower, place it flat and tap it. Now I'm ready to roll this out. This roti is ready to be toasted. Now I'm going to put my first roti onto the tower and let it toast. I flipped my roti and you can see it's toasting up nicely. It doesn't matter if it has a little bit of cracks here and there. And I'm just going to add in my oil and margarine mixture. It will get completely. To give this another quick tip. Also apply more margarine and oil to it. As you can see, it's looking nice and crispy. So this one is done and I will continue with the rest. Now I'm going to toast my second roti. And there's my second roti done. Let's see. I will continue with the rest of my roti. There you go, your lovely peas roti with my two cups of filling. I managed to make seven rotis, but it depends how you fill your roti because I use quite a bit because we like having this roti plain on its own. But today I've made some lovely yellow fried potato to go with the roti. Now I'm just going to break the roti and show you all how nicely it's cooked out. 
in the inside and you can see the fulling is quite spread it out and this roti Pranesh is already waiting to tuck in thank you all, all very much for watching and enjoy and please give this new roti a try